Hey guys, welcome back to my tutorials and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how we can start to make a simple button through the use of CSS. Now a button can therefore be used to use on-click events and then trigger some functionality or maybe be redirected to a different website or you know do whatever you want with it. So the first thing I need to do is actually create the button. Now in order to do this I'm going to be using a div. So I can say div, I'm going to give it a class, I'm going to give it a class of button. Okay, so to kind of signify that it is actually a button. And now that I've got this div, I'm going to go ahead and start to style it. So using this class, I'm going to give it a width of 150 pixels. I'm going to give it a height of 50 pixels. And I may as well just give it a border of 2 pixels, solid, hashtag 333, F, F. It should be a nice dark blue border. Now on top of this, I also want to give it a background color. I also want to make it a bit more curvy. So in the sense like the border edges should not be so sharp, they should be a bit more curved. So in order to do this, I'm going to give it a border radius. So I want to say border radius. I'm going to give it a border radius of 10 pixels. And as you can see now, it's the corners are not nearly as sharp. Finally, I'm going to give it a background color of hashtag E6E6FF which should be a lavenderish sort of color. Yep, perfect. Now once this is done, I now want to start to add text into the actual button. So that way I can say if I want to click on the button, I want it to actually do something. So I can have a paragraph in here and I can say click me. Now, as you can see, this click me button, uh, the text isn't actually in the center. So what I can do is I can say, I want the, uh, I want the child paragraph of the parent button to be text aligned centered. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to type in dot button to indicate that I'm getting the parent element with a small angular bracket and then the P selector to indicate that this P is the child of this button element. And I'm going to say text align center. I'm going to give it a font family of Avenir. I'm going to give it a font weight of bold. And I'm going to give it a text decoration. So as you can see now, I've applied some styling to this actual paragraph. And in turn, what's happened is it's applied the styling. It positioned it in the center, applied the correct font, made it bold, and removed any underlinings that may occur, because this is going to, in the end, be a clickable button. Now, since I have a particular button, I want the entire div to be clickable. Now, how can I do this? Well, as you know, in order to use a, in order to make a link on a button, you have to use something called your anchor hyperlink reference. Now in order to do this, I'm going to do this outside of the div. So that way I can encapsulate the button within the actual hyperlink. So I can say ahref is equal to, and remember to close off the a tag. Now on top of this, because I'm going to be styling this actual link, I'm going to go ahead and give this an ID of link. Now if I save this and refresh the page, oh look, now this entire div is automatically uh, clickable. When I hover over this particular div, or when I um, hover over the div, what I want to do is I want to change the background color to maybe a purple and change the color of the text to white. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. So I can say div colon hover. I can then change the background color to something like hashtag 8080FF and make the color white or to be a bit better, hashtag FFF. So when I hover over it, as you can see, I now got a different color shade of purple and the click me now goes from the purple to white. Once I've done this, I now want to get rid of that underlined Tech. I, I want to get rid of this underline uh, below the click me. So I'm going to, in order to do this, I'm going to take the actual hyperlink, which is uh, under the name link. I'm going to give it a text decoration of none. And there you go. Now it's gone. Finally, 
What I might also want to do is I might want to have a different color if I visited the link before. So I can say link visited and I'll give it a color of uh, green. Now I forgot the I forgot the green colors, so I'm just going to use green for temporary, temporary purposes. So I want to refresh the page now. As you can see, this is now green. So there you have it. So all I've done here is I've made a simple hyperlink. Within that hyperlink, I've created a button which says click me. And this button has got some styling associated with it. The button has got a certain width, a certain height, it's got a border and it's got a background color. And to reduce the sharpness of the edges, I've given it a border radius of 10. Now the higher the value you get, the more curved the edges will be. Now eventually if I put it to something like 50 pixels, it's going to become more and more like a circular button. With regards to the actual paragraph, I wanted to align it to the center. I wanted to give it a different font make it bold, and this line was not necessary. Now, in order to make this a little bit nicer, let's say I'm on a web page and I want to click this button, but I don't want to lose the actual web page. So as you can see currently, it's going to redirect, redirect me away from the web page, which means I now have to go back to go back to the original. So all I can do in my hyperlink is just give this a target and let that equal to underscore blank. Now what this is going to do is when I click the button, it's going to open up the, the redirected link in a new tab. So watch carefully when I click this now. Google has now appeared in a new tab and I still have my button where it is. So that's really about it. So now all I've shown you is how to make a simple clickable button that has some functionality. So thank you very much. This is Carl from carltapt.com and I'll see you guys in the next video.